not to brag <clears throat> but i was great at everything in school which is a feeling i carried with me to college where i first realized that i'm actually just really good at following tutorials like really good and this gave me what i call the ufidence the confidence and this gave me what i call the ytic disease youtube induced confidence it's the one where you think you can repair your tv or fix your bike at home by just watching a single video but i'm glad because this gives people the freedom to be more creative and go that extra mile to make something they love even better it can be a simple three steps but it's such a clear indication of the person's love for their art i get the same feeling when i'm watching those poppy text motivational videos all of them look the same until one doesn't because someone spent 10 extra minutes to retracking that text and making their art a little better 2D tracking is simply not that hard to imagine this right here is the 2D track of the beyblade it gives us the path the beyblade followed on a 2D plane let me explain more practically let's say i take the simple animation of a car and print out every frame now after spending 15 minutes tracking the tip of the car for every frame we'll have the track data but how do you use this data i'd say there are two major ways either you stick something to the object or you make the object stick i got a few comments saying they aren't really learning much from my videos and i can kind of agree with it So this part is going to be completely screen recorded. So next time when you have your software open, you can come back and refer to this video. Once you get a new After Effects project going, import the footage you're going to track. Now because we're learning for Instagram Reels, we're going to make a 1080p vertical composition at 30 fps. Drag your footage to the timeline and double click it. This should open the viewer window for the specific layer. Now find your tracker window or go to Windows and enable tracker. Clicking track motion will bring up the first tracking point for this video. Now click drag and place this tracker point on the object you're trying to track. The selection of your object matters a lot here because the automatic tracking will only be as good as the sharpness of your video and you as an editor should be ready to fix and find your object whenever after effect messes up the size of the box around the track point tells after effects the area it should look for in the next frame the bigger the box the more time it will take for after effect to verify each frame pressing play should start the automatic tracking and you can press pause whenever you want i also like to go frame by frame sometimes when the tracking gets a little tricky this is also a great way to keep fixing mistakes that after effects might be making in the track to get the best possible results in case you're also looking to get the rotation and scale data check the boxes but now you'll have to repeat the whole process for two track points now here's something i like to do with the data instead of applying it directly to the target layer we're going to add a null object to the timeline and apply the tracking data on this null layer we're now going to parent our target layer to this null object and now the tracking is applied to the target layer but we still have our position scale and rotation keyframes free to animate and mess around with later remember when i said there are two major ways here's how you make the object stick change the track type from transform to stabilize and hit apply as you'll notice now the tracked object stays in place and is now stabilized this option basically brings all the different track points to a single point and hence your object is stabilized this is also where you should realize that 2d tracking is the base for every trendy car edit throw in a time remap sync it to beats and you can post it to instagram now i will be providing a few raw footages from a previous shoot for you to practice on and it should be linked in the description of this video i seem to have a love hate relationship with these tutorial videos because i hate to make them this screen recorded way but it is also the only way i could slow down the process and teach you exactly how the effect was made i hope this was a good balance of entertainment and information for you and if not let me know in the comments because now you know that i actually read them 2d tracking is the basic step for a lot of the heavy effects we'll be learning later on in this series so make sure you practice it enough while you wait for part 4